I might as well just do, do a show called Interviews with the Dead. <laughs> Oh my god, so like, I'm just, I'm having a break because I've been doing this reading, it's been like a three-part reading that's absolutely just <sighs> knocked me on my tuckus. So I'm vegging out, just taking a break, I'm pretty much nearly done, and um, I'm laying here, I'm going to go and have a bath, and while I was sort of unwinding, um, I decided to watch one of my stories on YouTube, and it came up with a link to a story about um, Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher, the relationship between the two of them. And of course it's me, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> so of course I was going to be able to uh, have a story about how I had a conversation with Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher because I wanted to know why she died after... Carrie Fisher died. I had asked, what made you lay down and die straight after your daughter did? And she said she didn't want to leave her alone. She said that um, her daughter had always been a very isolated child. And um, she used to get picked on a lot like she was made to feel inferior she had like a inferiority complex because she was the daughter of um, Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher and she used to get um, I don't know whether Debbie Reynolds knew this or not but what Carrie Fisher had said was that she used to get bullied a lot about her looks because her mother was, you know, this Hollywood starlet and she was sort of very tomboyish. And she used to get teased about her looks. Um, and so she kept herself isolated. She had a love-hate relationship with her mother because she admired and respected her moxie and her strength and her... Um, ability to command a, a room she had a commanding presence and for someone watching that growing up it was very intimidating for her because she wasn't her mother she didn't want to be her mother's daughter she wanted to be her own person but at the same time her mother was her greatest inspiration and When she became Princess Leia, it kind of earmarked her for a whole new version of herself that was like far removed from her being Debbie Reynolds' daughter. And she was very proud of that. She absolutely didn't want anybody to think that she wasn't. It was her greatest achievement, a greatest achievement that made her who she was. And she was very proud of that. She just didn't necessarily approve of the direction it was going down. But she was never going to let that take away from the fact that she she knows that she became created probably the greatest modern female icon in movies and um, Debbie Reynolds said that when her daughter died she knew that her time was up like she knew that um, that was it <clears throat> She didn't want Carrie to feel lost on the other side. So she wanted to be with her. She said her job was done like her time was up. She was, um, it was her responsibility to 
take care of her daughter in this life and the next and that's the way she was seen it and that's the way that um, it was. <clears throat> she felt responsible for her because um, she knows that the issues Carrie had were because of the fact that she had always felt like she had to, um, she had big shoes, shoes to fill, that Carrie had big shoes to fill. She knew that Carrie's problems stemmed from the fact that she, Carrie, was trying, was being expected to live up to her mother's expectations. Or she knew she had big shoes to fill if she wanted to be like her mother, put it that way. But her mother said she didn't want her to fill her shoes, she wanted her to fill her own. So she blames herself for Carrie's addictions and she just always promised herself from that point on she'd always keep an eye on her in this life and the next so when her baby went that's what she just said when and when my baby went she said I knew that there wasn't even a question in her head she was going with her she needed to be with her baby so that's what she did she just willed herself to die she said she knew deep down she said when she got the call to say that she'd been um, taken from the aeroplane she knew then she said when, um, even though she kept the faith, what she was actually doing was preparing herself to go and join her daughter. She knew. She said a mother knows, and she knew. So, um, the sisters now, the twin sisters, Twin girls. So, I just I had, thought I had to share because um, s some of them are hard to say no to. It's not a video I was planning on making, but after the B after 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 the B Arthur thing. like they're all coming through <laughs> she said she absolutely absolutely loved um, playing her last role as um, Liberace's mother she absolutely enjoyed every minute of it she felt it was her swan, swan song that she got to make a movie about one of her best friends, so, so anyway, I just thought I'd share, and, um, you know, now that both of them leave an incredible legacy together, so, anyway, I'm going to have a bath now. <laughs>